with a pretty face, funny hat. That's what my blondie is. Lovable feet, both flat. That's what my Dagwood is. Blondie's not always right. I let her think she is. All of my thoughts are bright. Long as he thinks they're his. Life of us is fun and crazy. Baby Duffling. Us and Daisy. What a family. Incredible. Bumsteadable. <laughs> Hurry, you'll miss your bus. Watch out, you'll burn your stew. Nothing's too much for us. As long as with me there's you. Dagwood and Blondie. Blondie and Dagwood. Always with me there's you. to the office today, so will you go downstairs and, 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 and get the paper and bring it to me in the bedroom? open and do your deep breathing exercises. Okay. Hurry up. Is it open? Uh -huh. yeah. Now, fill your lungs with that good, fresh morning air. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. How do you feel, Dizzy? Huh? Yeah, I mean, how do you feel? Dizzy? Oh. Uh, well, that'll yeah. be all for this morning. Don't forget to tune in at the same time tomorrow morning yeah. when you'll do your calisthenics under the aus... <laughs> Thanks, Dizzy. <laughs> Thanks, Dizzy. Thanks, Dizzy. Thanks, Dizzy. Oh, go ahead downstairs and get your breakfast. Go ahead. Huh? Well, go on. Blondie's got a lot of nice things this morning for you. <laughs> huh? Well, go on. <laughs> oh, I know. You want the funny section for Alexander, huh? Okay. There we are. <laughs> there you are, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> Isn't Daddy going to the office today, Mommy? Not today, darling. Daddy's firm is being reorganized, so Daddy has two weeks off. Oh, thanks, Daisy. Say, if Pop has two weeks off, why can't we all go away to the country or someplace? I'm afraid we can't afford a vacation this year, Alexander. The house has to be painted, and we need a new furnace, and, well, there are a million things we can do with our money this year. I'm afraid we'll have to spend our vacation right here at home. There's your breakfast over there, Daisy. <laughs> Here's your breakfast, dear. Oh, 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 Blondie, you shouldn't wait on me like this. You'll spoil me. Oh, you're wearing your new robe, I see. Oh, yeah. I was kind of saving it for special occasions. I didn't oh. want to get it dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made the marmalade myself. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. Like mm -hmm. it? Wonderful. <laughs> Blondie, mm -hmm. I've got an idea. You have? Uh-huh. What about? Instead of painting the house, let's all go on a nice vacation. But the house can wait till next year, huh? Oh, no. We'll paint the house this year while we still have the money. Our vacation can wait. Oh, sure. It's all right with me. Besides, uh, when the company gets through reorganizing, they might find out that, that they've got one man too many. Ha, <laughs> ha. Hmm. Oh, maybe they might. But you don't have to worry. You're much too valuable a man to let go, and the firm knows that. Oh. Now, after you've had your breakfast, I want you to go for a nice walk. Okay. It'll help your appetite for the lovely lunch I'm fixing. 
And um, while you're taking that walk, uh -huh. you can do something I've been looking forward to doing for 15 years. What? You can make the last payment on the house. No more payments, never? That's right. Oh, well, then why can't we go on the vacation? No, dear. Hmm? We are still going to have the house painted. <laughs> Well, it didn't take them long to find out you were having breakfast in bed. <laughs> no. If you want any coffee, call me. Okay, dear. Mm. City Kitty? Oh, here's a swell playmate for you. Listen to this, fellas. Great Dane for sale, cheap, will eat anything. Very fond of small dogs. <laughs> Find of small dogs. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, Elmer. Here, Daisy. Daisy, stop there. Come on. There we go. Here, here, here. Hey, you. Huh? Get them mutts out of here. Uh, uh, these mutts, uh, I mean, these dogs won't hurt anything if they're well behaved. That's what they all say. Go on, get them out of here. Come on, Daisy. Shut down. <laughs> you can't kick my dog and get away. Ooh. 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 If I thought you planned it. Oh. Oh. Now beat it, club. Yeah. Listen, if I didn't have to... And if you bring them back again, I'll give you more of the same thing. Yeah? Well, if I can find my dogs, you would... Oh, yeah. Daisy! Come on, Daisy! Elmer, Oscar, Gwendolyn! Yeah, what? Can I find my dogs? Here, Elmer! Oscar! Here you dogs, young fella. There you are. Well, thanks for catching my dog. Oh, not at all. Just a minute, young fella. Uh -huh. I'd like to talk to you. Uh, what? I saw what happened to you over there. Oh, well, you did, huh? Well, I, 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 I thought... Uh, if you were in good condition, those things wouldn't happen. Oh, well, you see, I'm sitting at a desk But a fella day. your age shouldn't allow yourself to get so soft. Oh, I do these kind of things before That's radio... That's not every... for you. Huh? That's for old men. Oh. Say, uh, yeah. you got a pretty good bill on you, young fella. Thank you. Well, you need some hardening up, the kind we give you. Mm. How about joining up with us? We, uh, us? What's the that? Army. Oh, well, I don't see why. The, the Army? That's right. We'd make a man out of you, son. Yes, but I have a wife. Well, what's wrong with that? And two children? Congratulations. Uh, the more, the merrier. Uh, no, you see, I, I make pretty good money drawing plans for construction. Perfect, perfect. We need men like you. No, no, you see, you don't understand. Uh, I, I don't believe I could support a family on Army pay. But you don't have to quit your job. Uh, I don't? Of course not. This is the new Army, uh, the Organized Reserve Corps. You simply serve your country on weekends. Oh, just the weekends, huh? That's right. You can take your wife and kids with you. It'd be a vacation for them every weekend. Vacation? Sure. Yeah. While you're serving Uncle Sam, they'll be having the time of their lives. Uh -huh. Movies, teas, dances. <laughs> They've even got babysitters for the kids. Oh, no. Yeah. Now, what do you yeah. say, young fella? Oh. Well, you know, I, I've got a good mind to do it. Well, you ought to. Why, in a couple of weeks, you'll be in great shape like I am. Just feel that. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Okay, tell me more about this new army, this this reserve. Yes, course. indeed. At ease, men. Good morning, Mr. Bumstead. Come in, come uh -huh. in. Front and center, Mr. Collins. You're in fine fettle today, Mr. Bumstead. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah. And now I understand why. This is the final payment on your home. Yes, sir, it's all mine, free and clear. <laughs> but that's not entirely the reason. Hmm. I just joined the Army. 
You joined the army? <laughs> the new civilian army, the reserve corps. You see, we train on weekends. Oh, yes, I've heard about that, Mr. Bumstead. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. Oh, yes, this country's not going to be caught napping again. That is, if I've got anything to do with it. You know, it's an outfit that every able-bodied man should join. I agree with you, Mr. Bumstead. Well, good luck in your new venture. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Goodbye, Miss Towns. Come on, Dave. Oh. oh, Mr. Bumstead. Uh, Mr. Bumstead, I represent the uh, Raffenstroff and Realty Company over here on Crovity Avenue. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I've heard of your firm. Thank you. And you own that house on... Uh, What's the name of that uh, Shady street? Lane Avenue. That is right. Right next door to the Spanish type house. No, Cape Cod. That's what I said. Spanish Cape Cod. <laughs> yeah. I remember the place well. I even know the street number. Oh? Well, it isn't a very easy number to remember. Why isn't it? Well, it's just kind of, uh, well, it's all jumbled up. Jumbled? Yes. Now, you take, if it was 2247, that would be kind of easy to remember. Or if it was uh, 2274, it would be easy to remember. But... Uh, or 227. That's kind of tough. Not for me, it isn't. No? Uh, oh, uh, well, what did you want to see me about, Mr... Uh... Uh, Greer is the name, Mr. Bumstead. Uh, oh. Marty Greer. Oh. Mr. Bumstead, how would you like to become financially secure? Financially secure? Yes. In other words, uh, how would you like to have a little nest egg that'll make you independent for the rest of your well, life? Well, I'd like it very much, but uh, what do I have to do? You don't have to do a thing, Mr. Bumstead. I do everything for you. You do? Yes. Now, how much did that little house cost you? Oh, I think it was $7,000, but, of course, that was quite a while ago when things were kind of cheap. I realize but, uh, that. I think it's worth twice that much now. How would you like to have four times as much? Well, four times. Twenty-eight grand. <clears throat> Twenty-eight thousand dollars. Twenty-eight thousand uh, dollars? It just happens that I have a client who has taken a fancy to your house, and that's the amount he's willing to shell out <clears throat> to give you. <laughs> Oh, boy, $28,000. That's right. Of course, the deal can't be completed until he sees the inside of the house. Yeah. Now, I just heard you tell the man in the bank uh, that you're going away to train over the weekend. Yeah. My client is a very busy man, and Sunday is the only day he'll have time to look through the house. Uh, Will your wife be home on Sunday? Oh, no, no. She's coming down to the camp on Sunday. Oh, that's fine. Well, then maybe you let me have the key. Oh, the, the key? Yes, yeah, so that we can look through the house. Oh, oh, oh sure. <laughs> Uh-uh. No, no, I'd better not give you the key. Why not? Well, because I want to surprise Mrs. Bumstead. And if I give you the key, then I'd have to tell her. You see, what I want to do is keep all this away from her until after the deal is over. <laughs> That's in case you don't sell it. Oh, don't worry about that, Mr. Bumstead. I'll sell it all right. But if I haven't got the key, how am I going to show him the house? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Look. Uh, now, th th there's a little catch on the window to the right of the front door. I see. see? And, um, uh, it, well, it, it, it doesn't work. But if you give it a, just a couple of those, up it goes. Oh, that's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to thank you again just for what you're going to do for me, Mr. Greer. And, and I'll be seeing you when I come back from the camp on Monday. All right. All right. All right. Mush. <laughs> Goodbye. And another thing, Dagwood Bucks did. Yeah, huh? Suppose you get killed. Blondie. Then what happens to me and the children? Blondie, I'm not going to get killed. How do you know you're not? Because a soldier only gets killed when he goes to war. Well, wouldn't you have to go to war? Well, if there was a war, I guess I would. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> Blondie, there hmm. isn't going to be any war. Oh. That is, if every able-bodied man in this country joins a reserve or some other branch of the armed forces the way I'm doing, that's Tillman, Pop. Oh, thanks, Alexander. <laughs> You're right, dear. I am? Mm -hmm. yeah, about what? Uh, joining the reserves. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, Dagwood, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> and you know something? We'll all come down and see you every Sunday. Oh. Won't we, children? You bet we will, Pop. Now I can tell all the kids at school that my daddy's a veteran. Uh, well, uh... Uh, don't tell him yet, Cookie. Wait till Monday when Daddy gets back from camp. <laughs> Go sit down, dear, and have your lunch. And just remember what Napoleon said. Oh, don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes? 
Oh, no, no, dear. Napoleon said, an army travels on its stomach. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, no wonder he always kept his hand in here. He was picking the gravel out of his underwear. Oh, <laughs> oh Dagwood, good, huh? you're wonderful. <laughs> well, come on, go sit down and have your lunch yeah. now before it cools off. <laughs> Be careful of the plate, dear. It's hot. Oh, I will. <laughs> Liver and bacon, my favorite fruit. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Alvin. Hello, Mrs. Lumstead. Hello, Alvin. Hi. Have you had your lunch? Yes, thanks, Mrs. Oh. Lumstead. You ready, Alexander? Just about. Uh, say, have you heard about Pop? Being <laughs> laid off? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> look, Alvin, I wasn't laid off. I'm just standing by until the company reorganizes. Are you getting paid? <laughs> uh, well, uh, no. You're laid off. Pop joined the army. Oh, no. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. He's going to camp Saturday. Mm, that's right. <laughs> Tell him about it, Pop. Yeah? <laughs> well, yes, Alvin, I joined the reserves. And if every red-blooded American could and would do the same thing, we would be assured of peace. Uh, just like General, uh, what's my call it, said one Mr. time. Mr. Bumstead. He's, he's, uh-huh. Men won't play an important part in future wars. Uh, oh, oh, they won't? All our missiles will be guided by radio. Uh -huh. It'll be a push-button war. It, it will? <laughs> then I'll push the button. <laughs> well, come on, let's go, Alvin. So long, Pop. <laughs> so long, son. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Goodbye. So long, Mr. Bumstead. <laughs> so long, Alvin. And kidding aside, uh -huh. I think you made a wonderful sacrifice. Yeah? Oh, thanks. Push button warfare. Get it? Yeah, I got it. But you'll get it too. Oh, dear, I told you the plate was hot. Oh, you know, someday I'm liable to mangle that little smart aleck. Oh, now listen. Alvin doesn't do it to be mean. Uh -huh. He just likes to tease you. Yeah. Deep down in his heart, he's really very fond of you. Yes, huh? Well, mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty crazy about him myself. Oh, Ooh. still now, Butterfingers. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Alvin. Nice cool morning, isn't it? <laughs> what makes you so chipper this morning? Haven't you heard the news? No, what? Bumstead's on a two-week layoff. That means I won't be knocked down for two whole weeks. But have you heard the latest? About what? He's joined the army. No. What are they gonna use him for, a target? <laughs> well, there, dear. I've put in your toothpaste, toothbrush, razor, soap, brush, comb, socks, and handkerchiefs. Oh. Can you think of anything else? Yeah, you'd better put in the alarm clock. You have to get up awful early in the army. <laughs> you won't need an alarm clock, darling. They'll wake you on time. Time? My goodness, look at the time. You better hurry. You'll miss the bus. Okay. okay. back. Tomorrow I'm gonna get transferred to a new route, and this time I mean it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, buddies, let's go. <laughs> oh, 
wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I'm okay, boys. <laughs> I mean, buddies. All right, man. Huh? Oh. I'm Sergeant Gateson. It's my job to see that you men get off on the right foot. You only get a day and a half's training a week. Around here, we try to cram a week's training into that day and a half. All of you get a copy of this book? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why don't you find yourself a nice, quiet place? Sort of give it the once-over. Report back here in an hour, and we'll uh, go to work. Okay. okay. Oh. Hmm. Carry rifle front, present arms, barrel to rear and vertical, grasp it with left hand at the balance, forearm, the horizontal and resting against the body. Yeah. Hmm. And turn. Present arms. Up. Vertical against the left neck. Right shoulder arms. Right shoulder. Up. Right shoulder arms. Up. Then turn. Right shoulder arms. Up. Brother, are you from hunger? Yeah, huh? I don't know what this man's army's coming to. Oh, what? I've been in the army all my life, uh -huh. and I've seen some messes in my time. Mm -hmm. But without a doubt, you're the worst. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess I am a little rusty. <laughs> you're not rusty. You're corroded. Oh. Has my dad seen you yet? Uh, who's that? Top Sergeant Gateson. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, he's seen me. <laughs> Didn't he go into hysterics? About what? Forget it, soldier. I was just riding you. Mm. I want to see if you could take it. Oh, thank you. And you know what? Huh? For being such a good sport, I'm going to teach you everything I know. I'll make you one of the best soldiers on the post. Oh, you think you can? <laughs> sure. When I get through with you, you'll make a West Pointer look like a buck private in Coxey's army. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> now, get rid of that broom and let's get to work. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Here, get the feel of a real gun. Yeah. <laughs> now, the first thing you'll learn is the correct way to fall in. Fall in? Yeah. Fall in? Uh, uh, fall in where? Wh what do you mean? Oh, this is gonna be worse than I thought. Fall in means to fall in line. Oh. No matter if you're an individual, a squad, or a company. Is that clear? I got it. <laughs> Attention! Excuse me. How's this? Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. <laughs> now, the next thing you'll learn is um, right shoulder arms. Oh, right shoulder it's arms. It's four definite moves. Uh -huh. uh, uh, maybe I'd better show you. Here are the four definite moves. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Kill! Oh! Right! Face! Order! Corporal Gates reporting with one man that is no longer a raw recruit. Very good, Corporal. Oh, hey. oh, hey, thank you. All right, men. You've had a chance to look over the new drill book. Now let me see how much you've learned. I won't expect too much at first. Just let's try it. Detail. Ten. Hut. Right side. Right side. Right side. That's it. Down to the right foot. Now don't let it worry you. Right shoulder. Humps. Very good, soldier. What's your name? Uh, Bumstead, sir. Order! Hunt! Isn't it wonderful, Mary? I'm so proud of him. If you have something else to do, don't bother. Oh, I'll be glad to drive you down there, Mrs. Bumstead. Oh, of course, I don't mind. All right. We'll be ready to leave around 9 o'clock. Goodbye, Mary. First four man. Sorry. All right. Pick yourself up. Come on, get going. All right, Sarge.
Come on, get going, get going. Move along, move along. This training. Come on. Huh? Okay. That's it. That's it. That's good. Well, try again. Start again. Right up now. Get those arms over your head. Come on. Pull hard. That's it. Lift. for the day, men, unless you'd like to go over the obstacle course again. Oh. Hey! Say when, bub. Go on, beat it. You'll have potatoes running out of your ears. Oh, my God. 
in the morning. What's wrong with you? I, I can't sleep for your snoring. Well, I can. I'm a goner, Blondie. Oh, no, no. Oh, hold no, me no. tight before Dagwood. I go. I got you, Dad. Oh. Blondie. Yes, yes, Blondie, it's yes, getting yes, dark. Yes, yes, darling. Oh, yes. Blondie, kiss me. Oh, oh, kiss me. Oh, 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 kiss me. Oh, 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 What's the matter with you, Bumstead? Oh, oh I, I must have thought you were my wife. Your wife? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I guess I... I well, I, I was dreaming. I was killed. If you don't go back to sleep and let me alone, that's one dream that's going to come true. Yeah, huh? Ah, go to sleep. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, uh, good, good night. Good night. Yeah. Oh...
right, you little cherubs, out of your little belly buys. I hope all of you had an enjoyable night's sleep. Huh? Now hop into your little showers and please try not to be late for breakfast. Come on, you guys! Hop to it! Or do I have to come in and throw you out? Maybe the dame's changed her mind. Yeah, it could be. What do you think, Monty? Alexander, you sit out front with Mary. Okay. We get in here. Just a minute and I'll show you. Well, how about that? Hmm. <laughs> now get inside and try and look like you own the joint. Okay. And remember today your name is Bumstead. Okay. Bumstead? Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. And get rid of that gum. Okay. Come on, let's get set up. Right, Marty. My husband, his name is Dagwood Bumstead. Well, you know what unit he's with? No, I don't. He's just John. Well, the I... best thing for you to do is to go up to the... Pardon me. Corporal! Come here, will you? Yes, sir. Corporal, do you know anyone by the name of Bumstead? Oh, yeah, sure. He slept in my barracks last night. Oh, how did he sleep? Like a dream, I hear. Oh, good. Well, do you know where Mrs. Bumstead could find him? Corporal. Yes, sir. Uh, what did you say, Captain? I said, do you know where this lady can find Bumstead? Sure, sure I do. He's over on the rifle range. I'd be glad to escort the young ladies over there if you'd like. I'll do that, Corporal. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Captain. Not at all, Mrs. Bumstead. Is uh, this young lady looking for her husband, too? Oh, she isn't, Mary. She ain't? I mean, she isn't? No. <laughs> Mary, come on over and bring the children with you. Them her kids? No, they're mine. Mary, this is Corporal... Tui. Tui, this is Miss Reynolds. I'm very happy to meet you, Corporal Tui. <laughs> Just call me Biff. And this is Alexander, my son, and Cookie, my daughter. Hi, kids. And this is Daisy and her family. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> uh, is it all right for me to bring the dogs into the camp? Well, one dog wouldn't hurt. Uh, that is, if you keep him on a leash. But if I were you, I'd leave the kids and the rest of the dogs right here in the hostess house. Okay. They'll find plenty to do, and, well, later on, there's going to be a movie they can see. Oh, how will you like that, Alexander? Movie sounds okay to me, Mom. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bob, take these kids into the hostess house, will you? Sure. Come on, kids. And see they get loaded up on ice cream or something. Okay. <laughs> well, shall we go? Well, uh, maybe you'd like to take Mary around and show her some of the interesting things to see. Yeah. Uh, if you'll tell me where the rifle range is, I'm sure I can find it. Well, it's very easy to find. Uh, just go right down here and turn left at the mess hall. You can't miss it. Well, thank you. I'm sure I'll find it. Uh, you two, uh, have a good time. Don't 
Don't jerk the trigger, Bumstead. Huh? Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Didn't you hear me give the order to cease fire? Uh, didn't you hear me say cease fire? What? I say, didn't you oh, hear oh, me? Wait, 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 here. <laughs> I got, huh? Hey, what did everybody stop shooting for? Why? Because there's someone in front of the targets. Yeah? And it's a blonde and a dog. A uh, blonde and a dog? Here, look for yourself. Oh. Oh, no. Blondie! Blondie! Are you all right? Yes, dear, I'm all right. Uh, are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Oh. 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 What? Here you are, folks. Stop and look. It's the chance of a lifetime. You've never seen a bargain like it. Hey. Hey, the dame's a good cook, ain't she? Yeah. A lot different than the joint we was in last week, huh? <laughs> there. Say, what have we for dessert? I'll take a look. Well, what do you want, kid? Is this house for sale? Can't you read? Yeah, sure, but... but... Go away, boy, go away. I'll send for you if I need you. Go away, go away. How do you do, folks? How do you do? Six thousand dollars. Is that the full price? Yes, sir. And it's furnished, too. I can hardly believe it. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? But if you doubt my word, just step inside and speak to the owners. And, uh, uh, uh these are the M4 with the 105 millimeter howitzer. <laughs> and, uh, this is the M24, uh, the fastest and lightest tank we have here. <laughs> Oh, Dagwood, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you are? <laughs> All the things you've learned in such a short time. Mm. Well, you know me, Blondie. I pick up things pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> These must be very difficult to run, aren't they? Oh, you can turn them on a dime with just your two little fingers. <laughs> you can? Sure. <laughs> Gosh. Mm. Hey, would you like to take a ride? Well, are you sure you know how to handle one of these things? Well, there's nothing to it. Well, we'll just go for a little ways, right around here someplace. Come on, huh? Well... Oh, come on. Come on, Daisy. You can well... go, too. Go ahead. Oh, Daisy. <laughs> Wait. Come on. Oh, Dad. <laughs> oh, this is a nice one. It's a handy little gadget to have around, just in case you get in trouble. Mm. My goodness, it must shoot awfully large bullets. Shells. Would you like for me to show you how we work it? Mm-hmm. This is the lanyard, and uh, this is the breech. Nothing slow about you, Biff. Yeah, that's what my wife says. Your wife? Oh. I had to open my big, fat mouth. Hey, 
blinded. Come on down here. Okay. Come on, Daisy. Oh. Oh. Are you sure it's all right for you to run this? Oh, sure. The captain won't mind. Oh, okay. You all ready? Yeah. Here we go. and get the brass ring.
Uh, no, I didn't, Blondie. We ran out of gas. Oh. Blondie. Oh. 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 Thanks. It's rather late. I think I'd better be running along. All right. Well, thanks a lot for taking it. Not at all. Let's do it again sometime. Huh? Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, okay, Mary. Goodbye. <laughs> Jack Bush. Look, all the lights are on in our house. Yeah. Well, I'm certain the lights weren't on when I left this morning. Yeah, Blondie. Somebody's in our house. Yeah, Blondie, I kind of wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> uh, that is, until the deal was all completed. Deal? Yeah. It looks as though we sold our house. Sold our oh, house? Sold our house for $28,000. That's four times more than we paid for. Just think, $21,000 profit. <laughs> well, I'm not against your selling the house, especially at that price. Mm -hmm. Where are we going to live? Oh, it'll be weeks before they move in. They've got to go through escrow and all that sort of things, and we'll have plenty of time to find another house. <laughs> How much would it cost to build another one just like this one? Well... Honey, I could duplicate that house for $12,000. $12,000? Oh. <laughs> Bonnie will be on Easy Street. Good evening. What can I do for you? Well, you, you can let us in our own home. Your home? Oh, are you the man that's gonna buy the house? I bought the house. Oh, for twenty-eight thousand dollars? Twenty-eight thousand? Uh -huh. I paid six. Paid six what? Six thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars in cash, the rest in easy payments. Oh no. Oh, that's it... ridiculous. Why, we wouldn't think of selling this house for sixteen thousand, let alone six. Well, I'm oh. afraid you folks have no choice in the matter. Uh -huh. I have a signed receipt from the owner. Uh, yeah, but 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 the owner? Just a minute and I'll show you. There it is, yeah. black and white. Well, look, it's signed, Dagwood Bumstead. Hey, 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 that's not my signature. Is your name Bumstead too? No, it's not Bumstead too. It's, it, 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 I'm the only Bumstead in the town. What did these Bumsteads, uh, I mean, these other people look like? Well, the girl was a blonde and the man was kind of a dopey looking individual. Oh, that sounds like us. Oh, no. Well, if there's any doubt about our being the real Bumsteads, all you have to do is to ask our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Why, we've lived in this house for years. I can put my hand on anything in here, blindfolded. Yeah, and if you want further proof, just watch this. <whistles> Daisy? Daisy, run upstairs and get my slippers. <laughs> go ahead, Daisy. <laughs> and Elmer, you go up and get Mother's. <laughs> go get mine, too, Oscar. Mine, too, Gwendolyn. Something wrong, Richard? I'm afraid you were right, dear. This was too good to be true. It begins to look as though we'd been cheated. Cheated? Well, these people here claim that they're the owners of the house. The people that we bought the house from were imposters. But what about our money? Well, there! That should prove we're the real owners. Well, Agnes, I guess we'd better go upstairs and pack. Oh, you'll do nothing of the kind. You'll stay here tonight. My husband and I'll be very comfortable in the living room. Mrs. Bumstead, we hate to put you out like this. You're not putting us out, and we're not putting you out. And as for your $2,000, there must be some way we can get it back. Oh. oh. <laughs> Blondie will think of something. And when she does, the next home those crooks will move into will be a nice, clean cell. Oh. <laughs> Dagwood, please. Huh? Hmm? Now tell me once more. Tell me every move you made that day. Okay. I, I got up, took a shower, uh, did my sitting up exercises, then I had breakfast in bed. Hmm. Let's see, I had soft boiled eggs, uh, or were they medium boiled? 
It doesn't matter whether they were soft-boiled or hard-boiled. Now, go on. What else? Yeah, but I don't like hard-boiled eggs, Blondie. I know you don't, darling. Now, tell me what happened after breakfast. Oh, I took the dogs for a walk. Then what happened? Oh, that man at the vegetable stand, he kicked Daisy. And before I could punch his nose, he punched mine. Well, that's unimportant. You're getting punched on the nose is unimportant? Oh, I don't mean it that way, dear. I'm just trying to find out how that crook got the information that our house was going to be vacant yesterday. Uh, well, he heard me tell Mr. Collins at the bank that I was going to camp over the weekend. How do you know? Uh, he told me. Mr. Collins? No, the crook. Uh, what else did you say to Mr. Collins? Now, go on, think hard. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Collins said something about how happy I must be to pay the last payment on the house. And I said... Evidently, the crook heard that, too. Well, if he heard other things, he must have. Oh. Oh! I've got it. You've got what, Mrs. Bumstead? A way to trap that crook. You have? Mm hmm All I need is a vacant house. Now, if there was some way to let him know that we were going away, I'm sure that he would... Oh, no. No, that's no good. I'm sure he's much too smart to come back here for a second helping. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Oh, hi, Alvin. Uh, hello, Alvin. Hi. Yeah. Oh, uh, Alvin, uh, this is Mr. and Ms. Rogers. How do you do? Oh, excuse me. Say, what was going on around here yesterday, anyway? Oh, <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's like this, Alvin. You see, I met this big real estate man. <laughs> At least that's what he said he was. And he asked me if I'd like to become financially fixed for the rest of my life. And I said... And oh, I... Uh, Alvin, uh... You know everything that's going on around here in this neighborhood, don't you? Well, I guess so. I... Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where there was a, a vacant house, would you? Uh huh? Sure. Furnished? Sure. Where? My aunt's house. She's gone away for the summer. Oh, do you suppose she'd mind if I borrowed it for a few days? Of course not. But why do you want to borrow a house? Oh, I'll tell you all about it later, as soon as I've telephoned Mr. Collins at the bank. Capital 1110. Hello, Mr. Collins, please. Hello, Mr. Collins. This is Mrs. Dagwood Bumstead. Mr. Collins, would you do me a big favor? Of course, Mrs. Bumstead. I understand, Mrs. Bumstead. Oh, you're a good sport, Mr. Collins. Thank you. I'll be down right away. Goodbye. Oh. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Green. Good morning, Mr. Collins. Why didn't you ask me how happy I am? Oh, yes, yes. Why are you so happy this morning, Mrs. Bum? Uh, uh, Mrs. Green. Why? Because I'm making the last payment on my house today. Well, so you are. It must be a grand feeling to have a house free and clear, Mrs. Green. Oh, it is, Mr. Collins. Vacation. Huh? Vacation. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, when are you taking your vacation this year, Mrs. Green? Uh, we're leaving today. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you have a very nice time, and thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mrs. Green. Oh, Mrs. Green. Pardon me. I represent the Havens Craven Realty Company over on Croveny Avenue. Oh, yeah. Now, you own the house on... Uh... Elm Street, 322 Elm Street. That's right. Mrs. Green, how would you like to become financially secure? How'd you like to have a little nest egg that'll make you independent for the rest of your life? Who wouldn't? Well, it just so happens that a client of mine has taken a fancy to your house. Now, how much did you pay for that house? $7,000. Well, how'd you like to get, say, 20... Uh... 8000 Oh, Yeah, $28,000. Of course, the deal can't be completed till he sees the inside of the house. And tomorrow is the only day he'll have a chance to take a look at it. Oh, isn't that a shame? We'll all be away tomorrow. Well, now, if you could let me have the key, I Why, could... of course. How silly of me. Now, let's see. Your house is right across from the... Uh... A Spanish Cape Cod house. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Bumstead, we've been here for four hours. I don't think they're ever going to show up. 
Oh, let's wait a little longer, please. It's not me I'm thinking about. It's Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. Well, my guess is those crooks have skipped town while the skipping is good. Would you like some more sandwiches and some coffee? No, thanks. Hey, hey here comes a car. Maybe it's them. Hey, it's stopping. It is them. They're taking flags and stuff out of the car. Oh, boy. Look, Mr. Bum said huh? this kind of work is more on our line. Why don't yeah. you let us handle it? Look, now you promised you'd step in the other room and let me get the first crack at them. I know I promised, Mr. Bumstead, but you might get hurt. You know. Oh, don't you worry about my dad would not being able to take care of himself. Remember, he's been in training over the weekend. But there's two of them, not counting the girl. Yeah, well, I, I could handle six of them or maybe more. Okay, but if you can't handle them, we'll take over. Okay. Here they come. Yeah. Uh, what do you say we whip up a pot of coffee before we start? That's okay by me. And don't forget, today your name is Green. That's a cinch compared to that gag with Dumpstead or stag with Dumpstead or whatever it was I had to handle last week. Ah, nice looking giant, huh, Marty? We ought to do all right around here. Stop that! Why'd you mix a Kravis or a Groveny Ammo? Bumster! Ah! Oh, thanks, Jack! Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Bumstead, if you ever get sick of housekeeping, I'm sure I can get you a job on the detective force. Yeah. I'll remember that. Throw him in the car, Mike. Oh, uh, here you are, Mr. Francis Strand. Oh. Uh, oh. Are you all right, dear? Uh, they, they never laid a hand on me. <laughs> oh, Dagwood, you're wonderful. Oh, you're kind of wonderful, too, Blondie, dear. The way you trapped them and everything. Oh, that was nothing. Yeah. Well, come on, let's straighten up the furniture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just remembered something. What is it, dear? I, I'm gonna rush home and get the dogs, and I'll meet you back outside here in about ten minutes. Oh, where's my hat? Oh. Where's my hat? Well, there it is. Get the dogs. Bye. Bye. What's she doing in this neighborhood? Oh, oh dear. Oh, my goodness. Why, you did get transferred, didn't you? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Daisy, take a good sniff at the watermelons. Go on. Oh, Daisy, what's wrong with your sniffer? Go on, Daisy. Take a good sniff. Go on. Go on. Ah, go on, Daisy. Sniff. Go on. That's it. Well, here he comes, dear. What's the matter, Daisy? Something wrong with your sniffer? Go Excuse on. me, lady. <laughs> oh, so it's you again. Yeah, it's me again. What about it? What I gave you last week wasn't enough, huh? <laughs> oh. Whew. Brought that one up from the sidewalk, didn't he, son? It's Mr. Bumstead, Pop. Come on, children. Let's go with Daddy. <laughs> oh, 
Hi, Sergeant. <laughs> Corporal? Bumps, Bumpstead. That was a powerful right you gave that guy. Oh, yeah, well, he kicked my little dog last week. Oh, he had it coming to him, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Sergeant Gateson, this is my wife, Mrs. Bumstead. How do you do, Miss Bumstead? Hello. Hello. And uh, that's Danny, uh, Corporal Danny. Hello, Corporal. Hello. Will you be back at camp this weekend, Mr. Bumstead? Oh, will I? I'll say I will. <laughs> I've never felt better in my life, Sergeant, and I owe it all to the Army Reserve Corps. <laughs> Just look at this condition. Dad! <laughs> 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 <laughs>